Hey, it's Joshua Waldman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to begin researching the needs, goals, challenges, problems, and issues that face the target companies on your list. Also, if possible, we're going to try and understand the needs, goals, challenges of the people on your list as well. One of the first resources in the workbook that I talk about is called Alltop. This is human curated news from around the internet. It basically takes the top websites on any particular subject and then tells you what the top articles are from each of those websites and then even boils that up to the top five articles on any particular topic. So in our earlier example, we were using biotech. Let's do something similar here with our own research. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to alltop.com and search in the industry that I'm interested in pursuing. I typed in biotech, there are results for biotechnology. And I'm now looking at a page that's telling me the top websites for news and information about biotech. Now what I would do, and this one here on the left, of course, is the top articles from all of these sources. And this is human curated. This is not some machine. This is an actual expert in biotech telling you what's important to be paying attention to right now. So what I would do is spend some time reading these articles and seeing if there is some kind of business trend going on. Another great way to do research on issues, goals, problems within an industry is to see what people are talking about on Twitter. So if I head on over to uh, search.twitter.com, this is going to take me to Twitter's search page, and I can type in biotech, and I'll find the top people and tweets. Some great articles, like Forbes is saying, oh, here are the top performing biotech stocks in 2013, uh, here's some funding going on. A bunch of people here with a focus on biotech. I'm going to go ahead. What I would do if I were a job seeker is to come down and just start paying attention to what's being tweeted about in this industry. I also want to take particular note of people of interest. So perhaps there are some tweeters, some tweeps who are a little bit more vocal than others and could provide me some insight into what's going on. Another great source of information about an industry, and now we're narrowing down to a company, is to pay attention to their LinkedIn company page. A lot of companies are now jumping on the company page bandwagon and sharing recent updates. And if you're interested in a company, I highly encourage you to pay attention to what they're saying to their stakeholders. Um, in addition to just learning what the company is all about, the recent updates area is going to share with you what changes they're expecting in news, articles, thought leadership, anything that's, that's all going to be there. Now, you can also start paying attention to the individuals who you're targeting. So in our earlier videos, we found this guy who is the president of this biotech firm. And I'd like to know what's on his mind. If I'm going to look for a job, this guy's definitely worried about something. He has some goals in mind. So what I would probably do is check out his profile, of course, reading it. And in particular, I'm going to pay particular attention here to the groups that he is a member of. Uh, and if there are any biotech groups that he is part of, I'm going to click on that and try to join those groups. Here's one. It's, it's uh, Professionals in Pharmaceutical and Biotech Industry. And it's got 168,000 members. That is a very healthy group. I definitely want to join this group and start paying attention to some of the discussion happening right there. A final resource that you can use is simply Google's news search function. Go ahead on and uh, head on over to news.google.com and you can search just about anything on this site. So here we're going to uh, look for biotech companies and biotech news. We're going to get press releases, we're going to get investment ideas, um, we're going to get uh, new breakthroughs, companies that are top of mind, lots of really great information here. If you click on search tools, you can now sort by just blog posts. And that's kind of an interesting thing as well.